Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. How about drawing a 90 degree? Now here if you try to relate 90 degree in some way to 60 degree and 120 degree, you would find that 90 degree lies exactly between 60 degree and 120 degree. Yes. So you see 60 degree, 70 degree, 80 degree, 90 degree, 100 degree, 110 degree, 120 degree. So if you see from 61 to 3 jumps, you reach 90. From 120, 1, 2, 3 jumps, you reach 90. So 90 is exactly midway between 60 and 120. So it is very easy to draw a 90 degree but for this also you first need to draw a 60 then a 120 and only then you will be able to draw a 90. Let's see how. So to draw a 60 degree th this is going to be a quick recap for you. First you considered point O as the center draw an arc of convenient radius. This arc would intersect the line at some point A. Now with A as the center draw an arc of the same radius. So these two arcs would intersect at some point B. So join points O and B. So you get a 60 degree. Perfect. Now how about 120 degree? Keeping the same radius of the compass but this time B as the center draw another arc. So you would see that this new arc also intersects the existing arc at some point C. So if you join points O and C you get a 120 degree. So this angle is 60 degree. This angle is 120 degree. Now how about 90 degree? So 90 degree has to lie somewhere between 60 and 120. In fact it has to lie exactly between 60 and, 90, 60 and 120. So we will actually bisect this angle so that we can find out the exact midpoint of these two angles. And how do we draw angle bisectors? So one, point, one end point is B and one end point is C. So taking B as the center and radius slightly more than half of BC, we draw an arc like this. Similarly, taking C as the center and radius slightly more than half of BC, we draw another arc. Now we see that these two arc they intersect at a point. So let's call this point as E. So now we join point E to point O. So this angle is 90 degree because this angle is the angle bisector of this angle. So angle bisector of 120, I mean it, it lies exactly in between 60 and 120 degree. So that's how we have found, we have learned how do we draw a 90 degree using ruler compass construction. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.